Hi there. Uh, this last section of this video, or last part of this video, we are going to be creating a handle for our coffee mug. Uh, there's, I haven't found the easiest way to do this yet. So if you find something, definitely, you know, comment, let me know. Um, the way I have done it the best is I'm going to start off by creating a foundation or a base to create, to make my handle. So I'm going to rotate my object and try to get it kind of lined up there. And I'm gonna create a rectangular base down here. And as you're creating this base, the most important part is you wanna make sure that the handle is not any taller than your actual coffee mug. So that's, that's an important thing that I've learned over, over this um, practice here. All right, so I'm gonna to try to make these a little bit symmetrical. Um, and by doing that, I'm going to kind of create a nice center point for my circles. That's where the center of my circles are going to be. And once I've gotten those, those are completely, and you don't have to do that, but I like to, that way the circles, you know, they're the same size. Yeah, that's pretty important. Uh, once you've got that, you can come in and kind of erase all these extra lines that have been created through that. All right. Um, okay, so it's gone. No. It's okay. Control Z works like a charm. Got to zoom in there and get that little line there. Okay. So the first thing after I've created these circles, I am going to rotate this view, and I am going to just create one simple vertical line on the blue axis. Just going to go up just a little bit. Um, them to both be and you'll notice as you if you go up slowly you'll see how that um, kind of dotted line shows like these are the same height all right and the reason I do that is um, I found that when I when I create my arc to make my um, make my handle if I don't do that straight line the the base kind of comes out a little Crooked, I don't know. So this is what I've kind of found is the best way. Okay, so I create my art. Then I am going to come in and select, similar to what we did for that uh, curved uh, lip of the coffee mug. I'm gonna select these three lines. Make sure you select all three by holding down the shift button and the select. And then I'm gonna go to my follow me tool and use that to create my handle, All right? So it should be nice and flat, just like that. And um, so we're gonna have to rotate it, but before we rotate it, we have to do what's called a, a grouping, All right? So I'm gonna go back to my select, and I'm gonna select, make sure you select all three components. They're separated because of that little straight line that you made. And then once you see that they're all highlighted, right click on your mouse and go down to where it says make a group. You should see a nice big uh, rectangular prism uh, surround your object. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom out here. Look at my objects, how nicely they are together. Okay, and make sure that we're kind of on a flat plane. This is a very difficult part. So what we're going to do is rotate. So I'm going to go to my move tool, choose rotate, and I'm going to rotate this. So it should be, if you look in the angle or the dimensions box, it should be at about 90 degrees. 
once you get that, then we can get out of there. Um, not exactly where I want it to be. Um, maybe it's ergonomic. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna test this out and see what it's like. It might be the new thing in coffee mugs. Um, so once we get that, we're gonna go back to our move tool. We're actually going to select our endpoint here. Go to the endpoint on our coffee mug and connect those. And now we have a nice coffee mug with a nice little handle there. It's a little high. Maybe move it down a little bit. Um, yeah. All right. So that is, for all intents and purposes, how to make a little handle for your coffee mug so you don't burn your fingers. And check back. Again, we'll be doing some more videos uh, modeling some different objects. So I will see you next time. Thank you.